headed up to the North Cascades. Um, staying at my buddy Michael's house and uh, in this RV and uh, some air conditioning. Cool. A nice comfortable bed. Cool. And uh, there's a brewery right next door, right across the street. Ooh. This is Dave from the future. I'm at my uh, editing station here in Montana. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm editing this video and I just kind of want to jump in real quick. North Cascades loops, the North Cascade loop was pretty amazing. It's one of my favorite parts so far on this trip. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful ride, 400 plus miles. Um, absolutely worth taking the time to do that. What I will say though, is that when you get up to the top, I think it's called like rainy summit and it's called rainy summit for a reason. It, it rains and, and um, middle of summer or end of summer in August, um, it rained pretty well. So overall, um, it was great, but I wasn't able to capture all the footage I wanted to. And fortunately I found that SD card with the drone footage, um, there at the summit because you know, can't legally fly a drone in a national park. And, and I absolutely 100% support that. That should not 
but I found the SD card, which is awesome. And it was somebody that had a bike very similar to mine, um, that was wearing gear very similar to mine, which is really cool. It's very convenient, if you will. Um, but anyways, um, I headed down, I didn't really capture any footage into Winthrop, but Winthrop was beautiful. Um, I was kind of beelining it for food, to be honest with you. I had promised a barbecue and, uh, the brewery ahead. So, uh, here's the footage of me going through, I guess what would be kind of like this, uh, desert mountainous landscape. There's some more drone footage and then a little bit of a chasing the sunset, uh, towards the end, which is one of my best parts of the day. Like I, I absolutely love the high speed, you know, through the forest chasing after a sunset. That's, I mean, how often does that happen? So anyways, enjoy. <laughs> guys uh once again thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed the north cascades loop um i had really enjoyed riding that 400 plus miles absolutely a great day ride most people seem to split it in two they'll go stay in like winthrop or you know one of the towns on the flip side of of the park um right as it transitions into more of the desert area um there's a lot of options out there a lot of camping so on there's lodges um, really a cool experience and I highly recommend it if you're ever out in the area. So I hate to be that salesman guy, but if you can like, subscribe, comment, you know, anything you can do, share the video, uh, with other like-minded people, anything you can do to help make all this effort, uh, feel totally worthwhile will just be amazing. Uh, plenty of amazing things ahead as I pushed from that area in towards, uh, Glacier National Park. And I can't wait to share that with you. So, and more ahead as I head towards Maine and Pennsylvania, down to Tennessee, and then, you know, Transamerica, who knows? Kind of just going with the flow. So, anyways, thanks guys.